Hello everyone, I am Jasmine J. Trevinia from Bitalet 2A and I am here to answer the two questions. The first question, what is the importance of learning the principles, concepts of arts in the context of different artworks? There are so many arts in the world, not only in the drawing or in the painting we see. We can only see it around us, in culture shows, in the clothes we wear, and much more. Learning and knowing the principles, concept of arts give us ideas and various designs or meanings of artwork. By learning it, our mind expands more about different types of artworks that portray different designs or emotions. These are the balance, symmetrical, asymmetrical, radial balance, repetition pattern, rhythm, scale, proportion, emphasis, time and motion, and unity and variety. Apart from lines, shapes, and colors, and periods, and movements, these are also the principles, concept of arts that help us to understand and understand and communicate our thoughts about art. In different various arts, a principles of arts help us to know that most of the great artworks will only demonstrate a few of the principles. It also allows us to deeply know and understand why the great artwork is great. When making an artwork, one of the important things we need to do first is to choose what artwork we want to portray. What will be the basis for us to make a great artwork? Sometimes we make an artwork depending on our imagination, emotion, or what we see around us. And of course, to make an artwork, we need a basis. And the principles, concept of arts can be used as a basis to make our artwork more beautiful. Just like the balance, in making art, there is a balance so that your audience will be not confused and you can properly present your artwork. There is also called symmetrical, where both sides are just alike. And there is also asymmetrical, where both sides are different or not alike. Example is a gender of a person. We can draw a human body but different gender in both sides. The half is man and the other half is woman. The second question, as a future teacher, how will you make sure that your students understand the different artworks under a wide scope of curriculum? We all know that arts are bad. The second question. As a future teacher, how will you make sure that your students understand the different artworks under a wide scope of curriculum? We all know that arts are vast and numerous. And as a future educator, I will make sure that my future student will learn and understand the different artworks by showing them how great and amazing the arts are. Yes, it's so wide and hard, but it will become easy if you put your interest with love on it. After teaching my future students, I will give them activities and I will say the instruction for that activities with examples for them to know what piece of art they need to make. Aside from enabling their mind and imagination, I will also give my students a basis to help them to produce a good art. They must have materials. Any materials that can make arts is allowed depending on the student what arts he she wants to do. As a future teacher, for me to know if a student is learning about different various arts, it is necessary that while we are teaching, we need to have examples that can be shown visually or tangible so that our students can better understand the lesson. And in teaching, a teacher must be pleasant, full of inspiration, and have wide imagination because sometimes our students learning depends on our teaching how energetic strong and determined a teacher to teach we need we need to also allow our students to share their knowledge and whatever their answer let us give them a compliment and a round of applause it will be difficult for a student at first but as time goes on they will also learn as as long as we teachers are always on hand and ready to help them when they have a questions we can also include them in school contests, especially when we have students who are really fond of the arts, for them to be more confident and expand their minds. Sometimes, the students' understanding depends not only on their own knowledge. So we, as a teachers, are here 
so that their knowledge can be further expanded and the outcome will be good. As a future educator, I will repeat, arts is wide and hard, but it will become easy if you put interest with love on it. Art is fun and full of imagination and inspiration. As a future teacher, I will guide and teach my students the best that I can to give them confidence and to release their best strategies and skills in arts.